Thanks for coming out to my talk. I'm Melanie Shabbat, a GIS officer at the Canadian Red Cross, and I lead the Missing Maps activities on behalf of the Society. In the past few years, I've hosted many virtual mapathons. During this session, I'm going to share how I've improved mapathon data quality at our events, particularly at virtual ones by using OSM Chaw. Mapathons are a big part of Missing Maps. They're a great way to introduce people to OpenStreetMap and humanitarian mapping, but they aren't without their challenges. There are a lot of instructions to give, a lot of concepts to pick up, and everyone needs a different level of support. The goal of mapathons should always be to create good quality data, but as we know, after a mapathon with brand new mappers, there can be a bit of cleanup required to get the data to where we want it to be. That's why it's important to provide extra support to those who are struggling with mapping. It's especially important to catch mistakes early on during the event, so that the mapper can correct them and not repeat the mistakes, causing more work to clean up. During virtual events, you can't walk around the room full of mappers, check over their shoulder, and see how they're doing and what mistakes they're making. If someone is not mapping well at a virtual event, you have to rely on them to recognize that they're not mapping well and ask for help. They can share their screens to show you, but with everybody on the call able to view their work also, participants may be hesitant, especially if they're not feeling confident with their work. This can make virtual mapathons particularly vulnerable to bad mapping from new mappers because you may not be able to identify bad mapping until the event is over. Virtual mapathons have been growing in popularity during the pandemic. More recently, we have found a way to use OSM Cha as a way to monitor our mappers in near real time to identify individual issues and trends from the group. We found a lot of success from doing this and I wanted to share it with others. OSM Cha or OSM Change Set Analyzer, if you've never heard of it, is a tool you can access through the browser to view, filter, and track OSM change sets. Here's an overview of our process to use it during mapathons. Before the event, I get some volunteers together, about one volunteer for every 10 to 15 mappers. During the event, I provide the volunteers with a link to OSM Cha with some filters applied. The first filter is the date of the event. The other filter I add is the project number hashtag. This is important because although we have a group hashtag, the mappers who make significant mistakes are probably the same ones who also forget to add the group hashtag. Once the participants start mapping and saving their work, their change sets start rolling in on OSM Cha, and you can visualize them on a map. You can see features they've created, modified, and deleted. The volunteers and I review the change sets and chat amongst ourselves. We use a channel on our Slack workspace to discuss the change sets. We highlight issues from certain users to get a feel for how everyone is doing. If there's a common issue that multiple people are making, I, as the facilitator, become aware of them and can interrupt the mappers and offer a demo to go over the skill. Most commonly, we see things like connected nodes that shouldn't be connected. If there's a particular mapper who is doing the same mistake over and over again, or making serious mistakes, such as a mass deletion or tag modification, then we reach out to that user individually. This can be done by sending them an OSM message, something that's quick to do through OSM Cha, or message the person privately through the meeting platform. Here are some other tips I have to share to make the process a bit smoother. The imagery displayed in OSM Cha may not be the same imagery used by the mappers, so their work may appear to be offset when it isn't. Record the names of the users you've messaged and share that with the reviewers. That way you don't message the same person twice. Before messaging a user, ensure that they are actually a part of your mapathon. Either find their name in the virtual meeting or check for the group hashtag in their change sets. Keep in mind that a user may have changed their behavior since giving a demo. So their first change set may have been bad, but their more recent work may have been improved and they don't require messaging. Lastly, don't modify or clean up users' work during the event with OSM Chaw. It can cause conflicts that can be confusing for the mapathon participants. And that's about it. I'd like to thank the developers of OSM Chaw for creating such a useful tool. There's still some functionalities of OSM Chaw that I'm not familiar with, so I'm sure this process can be added to and improved. I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for listening to my session, and I hope it can be useful for your future events.